Potholes. Drivers hate them and they can't seem to avoid them because there's always new ones popping up. But researchers at the University of Calgary are working hard to develop new types of asphalt to improve roads and pothole repairs. Jacqueline Wilson has the details. One scoop at a time, a new batch of testing material is prepared. Researchers at the University of Calgary are working to develop better asphalt for roads and pothole repairs, all while trying to make it more cost effective using synthetic polymers and recycled plastic. Even the small enhancement of the properties of the asphalt binder will leave after to the better uh, will lead to the better longevity. And better longevity means also significant reduction of uh, taxpayers' money and also protect the environment. The team has a big job cut out for them with Calgary's unique climate wreaking havoc on the roads. So temperatures below minus 30, minus 20 degrees and freeze and thaw cycles are really devastating for regular asphalt or for asphalt roads in general. So that's something that we need to control and understand how they're going to fail. The city has already tackled almost 7,000 potholes this year, but it's likely tens of thousands will need repair. As we have cracks on the surface of the road, when we have thaw, water gets down into those cracks. Um, then we freeze up the ice forms, it expands and, and weakens that surface um, and also displaces some of the gravel below. And then as we continue to have these freeze-thaw cycles, the, eventually the asphalt will collapse in. Hewitt says the city patched almost 38,000 last year. And Jacqueline joins us from Kensington tonight where the city has actually just recently repaired a number of potholes. They sure have, Tara. People will be very happy who live in this area because while there are still cracks and uneven surfaces, about five or six potholes you can see just recently covered by the city. And the city does have about nine stations and each of the crews in those areas specifically, they are repairing the potholes in those areas. And so what happens when they see a pothole or it's reported? They come on out, they inspect it, and then they rank it. It's on a priority scale, one to five. So those that are higher priority, those are on streets at the speed that are higher, as well as the pothole is in the real well area. So that's how they do that and come on out to calls. And if our viewers do have a pothole in their area, they are asked to call either 311 or they can report it as well on the city's website. Tara, back to you. Okay, Jackie, thank you.